Good evening. Uh, I'd like to welcome everyone to the Nanjumoy Community Meeting. Uh, there will be lots of good things uh, you'll hear about on the listing here. We have a lot of good speakers in our community uh, that talk, will talk about a lot of things. So we welcome everyone. Um, this is a yellow legal pad, and this meeting is about, uh, there's going to be one concern addressed at this meeting, it's going to be about the roads in Nanjimoy. And, uh, and anything else that you would like to have addressed at a later date, we have uh, two young high school students in the back with this pad, and they will write down your concerns and we'll see if we cannot get them addressed. So at this time, I'd like to turn the meeting over to Deanna Wheeler, who's our MC. So thank you very much for coming. Hi. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things. She put this all together. She invited everybody. She made all arrangements. I'm already talking. So that's about it. There are a couple um, housekeeping things. Uh, first, we have Antoine Ransom over here. He is going to, uh, you know, the enjoy is so wired because of Ken Kroshauer. And of course, Ken set up live streaming. This is this is live stream at nanjoy.net and it will be um, archived and, yep, edited and archived. He also does, I'm just going to give a plug because he's doing this. Um, he has a recording and video editing um, business up by Greta. Yeah. Here So, nanjoy.net. Second, if you have not signed in, make sure you sign in. We have two wonderful teenage girls back there um, at the sign-in. And they also will be, which brings me to the third one, um, if, if people want to have any comments, anything, you may um, see them and they will either write it or you can write it down and we will give it to the appropriate people, whether it's um, Commissioner Murphy or the county people or whatever, we'll give it to the right person. All right, first off today we have Bill Shreve, he's the Director of Public Works. He is going to be talking about the roads. So let's welcome um, Bill Shreve. Thank you everyone for coming out and for having me. Um, the questions that I was asked to address were those roads um, here in the Nanjumoy area. And if, if you look at a map, anything that has a number on it, the state road. And so if you look on a map down here in this area, it's mostly all state roads. We have a lot of small county roads in there, but most of the roads are state. Um, at the request of someone that we talked to, and maybe the young lady who just introduced me, I took a ride to the community on um, a week before last on a Friday. I actually followed a state highway truck down the road and watched as they were picking up trash and, and uh, cutting up trees that had fallen over the guardrails and stuff. I was surprised at how bad a shape some of that, that Riverside Road, I guess it's called, 224. And so um, the state, um, um, I will only finish with the county roads. Um, we have been doing some stuff here. Um, we have patched and modified seal schedule for the Taylor, Taylor's Neck Road and Sandy Point Road for June of this year. Uh, we anticipate patching and applying modified seal of Holland Springs Road in the 2017 budget, which starts July 1st. Uh, we only have one small bridge that's actually in the county inventory down here, and it's located on Liverpool Point Road. It was inspected in 2015 by the State Highway as part of the Federal Bridge Program. Um, that bridge does meet all standards and is not deficient. It does have a weight restriction of 26,000 slash 46,000 pounds. Um, but, it, but it doesn't meet the uh, definition for being deficient, which a lot of the bridges in Maryland and actually throughout the country are right now. The Riverside Road was the one that seemed to be the worst shape. I did travel that all the way up and around and back out again. And uh, we, we got a new contact in the State Highway, um, Hillary Gonzalez. And she has given me her contact information and I will pass that along. And she's more than willing when people want to call up and ask her questions about the roads or State Highway issues of uh, Andrea and to answer that. But, um, she, she was talking about the governor and his initiatives and how he's committed to all the counties that within Maryland. I mean, that there are several projects that they're looking at in Charles County. So some of these are in the edge of Swamp around, but um, bridges in Cobb Island, Gilbert Run Swamp, and, and Sakaya Swamp, which I guess are the highest ones on our priority list right now. Sidewalks along Business 5, starting somewhere around about June 2016. 
uh, tree planting throughout the county along roadways. Paving along Route 224 will begin in the next couple of weeks, according to what they told us, if not already. Um, in fact, I expected to see some people work it now. And they're supposed to be done by June of 2016. That's what's on their schedule right now. I guess it's going to be Maryland 6 to east of Willingham Boulevard. And then structure 8019, we all know what that is, to continue to Sandy Point Road. And then Sandy Point Road to 344 and Forest Drive to Maryland 277. And then once they get all that, then they're going to start some paving projects on Route 5 and 301. Um, she also put in some service orders for the State Highway Administration staff to deal with the issues of the rebar on the road on Route 224 on Riverside. I think that was one of the things that was in the uh, email that we got. Uh, for the curves and the bumps, she's also put in um, some work orders. And then as far as speeding, that's the Charles County Sheriff's Office. And we will pass along to them that, you know, they have to do some extra enforcement if there's some issues down here. Um, the other question was a four-way stop sign at Liverpool and Beaver Dam Road. The, the county had looked at this a long time ago, and the, the state's actually, they're going to um, they're going to put it back in and look at it with their staff again. The county's going to look at it again also. Basically, the county looked at it a lot of years ago. There wasn't enough of a traffic count there to, to qualify for a four-way stop. From what they tell me, these traffic safety engineers, that, that sometimes a four-way stop can be more dangerous than not. And so unless there's a certain amount of traffic there, they don't even like to put those up. And uh, the kind of strange thing about that is that uh, Beaver Dam Road, I believe, the little county road that kind of goes off and back on, and that's the road that has the right of way. The other road has to stop. So we're not sure how that ended up that way either. But the state's looking at it, and we're going to have our traffic people look at it again also, since that's a shared intersection there. And Okay, where they, they said specifically, and they said March 4th, which I know is passed already, as of today is the 14th, they were going to start working on the road where the uh, pump was painted on the roadway. So, have you seen anything down there yet? I did see, they did put a sign up there. They had a, the state had put a sign up that said pump, right next to where somebody painted pump on the road. So I thought that was pretty really interesting. I think then for, for, they say for all three bridges, they actually have inspectors scheduled to come in and inspect and rate the bridges. Yeah. And then uh, within the next 90 days, they're going to have their um, state highway people look at that crossroads in Liverpool and Beaver Dam Road. So that's uh, really all the information I have for our county roads. They look pretty good to me. Um, my staff says they've done all the maintenance on them. They feel pretty good about how the county roads are down here. So I did leave some business cards. And uh, my contact information, or you can go on the web. Um, we have a pretty good website in Charles County, and for again, my director of public works contact information is on there. And uh, if there are specific issues, please don't hesitate to call us, and, and we'll respond and uh, get the information back to you. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, yes, ma'am. You're talking about the county roads. What about the roads that the people in Nanjamoy need to use to get to Nanjamoy? I'm on 344, which connects six. And 224, and I've heard you say something about 224. Well, up in the area from let's say uh, Hawthorne Road all the way past Lackey High School till you get to the intersection of 344 and 224, there is two sinkholes, and I don't know if that's what you were talking about, that have steel plates over them. The road is actually going to bust through. And I'm going back over to the state highway people again and talk to them. 344 is breaking up the, from the plate on right six. Once you get to Hilltop, through Ironsides, the whole area till the road broadens as you get to 344 in that area past Doncaster Park, State Park. Those roads are breaking up all over the place. There's been a little patch, and as soon as it rains again, they break up again. I'm on 344 under the power lines. The road in front of my house is chipping away blocks like this off the road. It, I, I'm going back to the state highway. I've been over there twice. They keep telling me I need to call somebody in the district. Okay, well, let me, let me again, I'll pass along this. Um, Hillary Gonzalez with the Maryland State Highway. We historically have had trouble getting information from the state highway. And keep in mind, they have a pretty big problem, you know, trying to deal with all the infrastructure it needs in the state. With the roads and you know we have had a depression or a recession whatever you want to call it over the last several years and so resources have been limited but 
we can get that information to them. Right now, I think that at least what I saw down here, Riverside Road needs this work, and that's the one that they're concentrating on now. I'm sure they have priorities throughout the well, state that they're dealing that with. Road's going to cave in, and you're going to have a bus accident or something, and it's just before you turn at the intersection of on Riverside Road. It's just before that on two on 224, and now the center road is starting to cave. There's water that and got the old pipes underneath these roads, and there there's a sinkhole there that they've covered with a plate that's now moved because of the snow. But you could put a whole orange cone in it. That's how big that was, and it was part of the road. It took. I've been over there twice, and finally a county policeman must have come by and called somebody from the state highway because the road's going to just fall in. Okay. Well, I will definitely pass this information along to the state. So in order to have adequate public facilities, it would seem we should not approve any more developments and add traffic to this already crumbling infrastructure. Uh, I believe that that's probably an issue outside of what I came here expecting to answer on. So I'm here more talking about roads issues just now. Uh, 